Wilshire Boulevard was designed to be the Grand Boulevard of Los Angeles. If you had a congregation on Wilshire Boulevard, it meant you were a player. It meant you were important. It meant you were someone. We took a group of students to visit religious institutions on Wilshire Boulevard as part of a couple of larger initiatives at the University of Southern California. We chose religious institutions because they're an excellent way to see the current life of Los Angeles refracted in these buildings. This church was founded 150 years ago. It's the oldest Protestant church in Los Angeles. And it clearly has the feel of a European cathedral. Fundamentally, this church is built as a progressive congregation with traditional worship. This congregation has all sorts of people of different persuasions and backgrounds. In spite of the age of this building, in a sense, we're dealing here with a brand new congregation. This is the place where the idea of an American Muslim identity was really formed. So how do you be, be Muslim and be American at the same time? This is a question that other religious groups have asked, but this is really one of the foundational places. It's a very active mosque. There's a food pantry that's part of the LA Regional Food Bank, and they're also part of the Wilshire Boulevard Clergy Council Corridor group, which is an interfaith group. It's also a, a mosque of, of varying um, ethnic and racial backgrounds. Muslims in the U.S. come from about 80 countries, and you can see probably all of them here on Friday. Oh, that is strange. <laughs> see the, the Jewish dog across the front of Oh, yeah. Wait, you can still see it. This is a reflection of the growth of Los Angeles. It's sort of interesting. What do you do with the synagogue? Do you take everything out? Do you leave stuff? There probably are some theological reasons that they might want to link themselves with the land of Israel, with the land of Jesus. I mean, they're saying, in a sense, Christianity grew out of Judaism. Our congregation grew out of a, a synagogue. When we see Wilshire Boulevard Temple, you will see they're expressing, this is who we are. We're going to build the nicest thing that we can afford, and particularly if you're Jews. You want to convince your non-Jewish neighbors that you are also serious about religion. Any one house of worship can contain many different congregations. They have different language congregations that meet here, and a reflection of the community that's here, they have an Ethiopian congregation that meets in their basement as well. There's all kinds of smaller groups who need space, and there are these giant religious buildings in urban areas uh, that need the money, need to rent the space. These different sorts of things ebb and flow over time, so now this church represents something quite different than it represented when it was initially built in terms of who's, who's, who's using it uh, in terms of and its theology and things like that. So again, this is one of the kinds of things to think about when you're out in the field and looking at these different congregations. How have they changed over time? How, how, what are the kinds of things they're doing now and how does that represent the people that are involved with them or their, their outreach? So. You can understand the history of the city you can understand where the city is at now. You can understand politics. You can understand culture. You can understand all of this by looking at the trends in religion.